Every love story begins with a meeting, and this is no exception. Any heroine worth her salt is going to, well, have to tame a guy. And taming a dog isn't that different. Meet Bessie. Bessie and I met just a few days ago when she showed up outside of my building incredibly unexpectedly. She was a really friendly dog, we liked each other right away, the attraction was mutual. So Bessie and I basically spent about a day trying to figure out how to navigate around each other. We decided, well, we would join forces. So when I came back after going to buy her some food and, you know, just general dog stuff, she was there waiting for me and clearly pretty happy. But Love isn't easy, and neither is taming a dog. So here's Bessie and I trying to navigate how to get her up to my apartment. Probably not that different than trying to navigate how to get a guy into your life, and as I'm trying to figure out how to call her this stray dog, I realized that it's probably very similar to trying to start a relationship with a guy, and that, well, he doesn't really want to be collared, and neither does Bessie. Uh, I'm not even sure Bessie really trusts me, but she knows I have food, and that's enough for now. So, as I'm trying to put the collar on Bessie, one of the things I started to think about is how horrible it is not to know what this dog is thinking, uh, and also how horrible it is to basically have to kind of let her do her own thing. It's sort of like, well, kind of being in a relationship. There's a vulnerability involved. So, hopefully, I can tame this dog. It's a continuing mission of trust and love. But until I do, I think I will just keep trying to learn from it as a lesson about love and maybe a lesson about myself. Who I am with this dog is probably who I am with a guy.